Hey guys, what's going on? Sideshows Weekly. <laughs> Another delicious intro to Massive Joe's Weekly Word, episode 105, Nevos. 105, mate. Good 105. Number. Good number, pretty good size, pretty good size. One more than 104. Absolutely, man. Topics of discussion, Neve. Back in stock, new products coming soon, Firelex, ask Neve. Is that it? Yep. It's a short oh, episode shit. today. It's a quick episode. That means we've got more, we got more time for, for ask Neve, don't we? Well, we haven't got many questions. Oh, we've got a few questions. Okay, let's get straight into it. First topic of discussion, Neve. Back in stock. ATP science. Ooh, look at her hair, mate. Thoughts? Thoughts? It's, it's that week two, so it's getting to that stage it where you, you it's need... Start, it, it, I need to go see Rob. Yeah. You see when it starts like flaring in the back like this? Yeah. And the lines aren't as tight? You see how the line is not very tight? Yeah. Rob needs to come in and fix that shit, man. Mm. I, might, I, might, uh, I might give him a call. See if we can go in like early I next week. I need to get my beard trimmed. You do? I was actually mentioning that. Get, get a bit of zoom. No, it doesn't need zoom. Nah, come on. It doesn't need the, 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 the viewers need to understand how curly your hair is. Well, my, my no, well they can see it. My fringe is going curly. Curly. Very curly. Your hair? Yes. Yeah. First topic of discussion then. Uh, back in stock. Oh yeah, we're going to do that. Back in yeah. stock. Yeah, yeah. What's back in stock? ATP Science Aerothin. Yes, all ATP Science everything is back in stock. Uh, all the creams, all the pills, all the proteins, everything. Yep. It's all there. Finiflex Stimulate, mm -hmm. back, back in stock. In, uh, what, eight flavors? Oh, it's too many. Finiflex? Too many. It's too much sauce. Uh, herbs of gold, all products. <laughs> Everything from herbs of gold, all your vitamins and minerals back in stock. And green TX50 back in stock in, I don't know, there's about 12 flavors. There's 12 flavors. Man. Something like Some that. Some of them I don't even, there's like a flavor called barista flavor. The fuck is that? I saw that last night. Yeah. You add them to your coffee or something? I don't know. I think you add it to your coffee or maybe it's we're, a coffee. Um, we're doing a raw review on green tea, right? You're meant to be shooting it today or tomorrow For or real? Saturday. That news to me, but I'll make it happen. It's I'm not news. Fine. We don't say it's news. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's news that I was going to shoot it today oh. or tomorrow. Mate, I usually shoot raw reviews on the weekend. I certainly need to be done this week. So. Oh, okay, well, there you go. Next topic of discussion, man. New products. Yes. Uh, so we've got the ATP Essentials range in. Yes. So we've got creatine, glutamine, citrulline malate, B cell A's, acetylocarnitine. Uh, the beta alanine will be next week. Mm. And I've got to say, um, very good value for money hmm. on these essentials ranges. Like if you if you go you know round for round with uh, similar raw ingredients in similar weights from different companies, ATP usually comes out on top. Exactly. So they've done very well. Or on par. Or on par. Uh, Cytec 100% way professional. So we, we used to stock this now back in stock. Mm -hmm. Three sizes. Yep. Uh, and ten flavors. Absolutely. And one of those ten flavors, Big Knee Boss. Chalk hazelnut. Chalk hazelnut, aka the Nutella flavor. Don't say that because we'll get a fucking cease and desist letter from who makes it? Fer Ferrero. Ferrero makes Nutella, don't they? I don't know. I don't know. Fuck it. Anyway, it's chalk hazelnut flavor uh, for legal purposes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but tastes like Nutella. Let's not get it twisted. Well, it does. Pretty close to Nutella. Chuck Hazelnut is Nutella, but it's not. Have you tasted Nutella? I've I've had an addiction. Well, it's to not Nutella. gonna it's not gonna be the same fucking texture as Nutella. <laughs> Nutella it's, Nutella is like God shit in a jar. We, oh, it. Remember that? Remember, do you reckon he watches Weekly Word? You know what I'm about to say. <laughs> Fuck it. You remember that motherfucker that that had bought a tub of MTS Way Tim Tam? Yeah. And complained that it didn't taste like Tim Tam. And brought it back. Yeah. And I ended up using it. I didn't give a fuck. It, it went in the it went in it went in the kitchen yeah it's like i don't really know how we could get it to taste much more like a tim tam unless we actually made a tim tam brought it back and said not tim tam <laughs> not tim Maybe tam enough. we needed to put we needed to put little bits of tim tam in that motherfucker break the biscuits up and throw them in it doesn't actually say tim tam so it says aussie chocolate. No, once again for legal reasons we're talking about the australian triple chocolate biscuit flavor yeah doesn't taste like an Australian <laughs> triple chocolate biscuit, apparently. <laughs> Push on, big knee. And said that Joseph loved everything that Joseph did yeah. and Massive Joe yeah. did, but yeah. felt very let down that you had lied to him about the flavour. Meanwhile, meanwhile, the Team J Apparel loves, loves it. Shit, I love it. Anyway, Team J Apparel Performance Two Tone Shorts now in stock. Yes. Uh, Team J Apparel Dream Team T Black on Black now in stock. Absolutely. Team J Apparel Red Cuff Trackies. Yes. 
should not be in stock. No, 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 no. They, 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 no, they, they, by the time this video goes live. No, they shouldn't be in stock, oh, like full stop. Oh, I, I know what you're saying, you don't like them. No. Do you, you should, you know what, you should try a pair on. No, I, should, I would not do rain trackies. You can't you try it, big dog. I could not do you it. You gotta throw them on. Muzz, Muzz did it. At the and how did that go for him? It went great. <laughs> he even got a shout out on Raw Vlog. Oh, I said there were three people that can rock all red everything. Ronnie, one of them's Ronnie Coleman, the other Muzz. one's Kai Green. Oh, Kai Green. And the third one is Dylan Murray Nangle. Oh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> Team Joe Apparel Barbell T, black uh, on black. Shit, yeah, I'm wearing, the, I'm wearing the white on black. The black on black also now available. Big knee boss. Coming soon. Next topic of discussion, Nick. Coming soon. Yes. I'm going to put it in here because you haven't got it. Yeah, what I miss? <coughs> uh, the green tea uh, skinny protein. Oh, is that coming as well? Mm -hmm. Is that vegan? Yes. Is it, is it plant-based? Yes. Why is it called skinny protein? Uh, no, I'm, no, I'm not sure. Is it supposed to make you skinny? Is Probably. That, is that I think it's quite to? lean. Yeah, a bit lean. And maybe it's got some X50 in there. I don't know. Okay. When's that coming in? Uh, next week. Nice. They're out of stock of the chocolate at the moment, which is why we're waiting for the chocolate to come oh, back in. Uh, so coming soon, that. Uh, Lenny and Larry's Complete Cookies. Yep. Lenny and Larry's Muscle Brownies. Yes. You're a big fan of Lenny and Larry's everything, aren't you? I'm a big fan. You love the Lenny and Larry's. Uh, muscle Farm Combat 100% Whey. Yep. Muscle Farm Combat XL Sport. Well, it looks like the Muscle Farm Protein's coming back, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Muscle Farm Vaso Sport, so it's a nitro oxide booster. Mm. ProSubs NO3 Drive, another nitro oxide booster. Mm -hmm. Blackstone Labs Hype Extreme. Another nitric oxide booster? All the nitric oxide coming on in. Uh, core PWO. Oh, fuck yes. And I've, been, I've been waiting. No, hold on a sec. Just back the fuck up. Pump the brakes, homie. Core PWO is, is, is like weeks away. Mm. And I'm excited as shit for this product because I think this is the best recovery, post-workout recovery supplement we have seen thus far. And the reason, the reason why I say this, we were discussing this the other day. The reason why I'm so excited for Core PWO is because a lot of recovery supplements, and you were, you were making this point, is they're like uh, just amino acid based, usually fruit flavored. Mm. So if you want to have a post-workout shake and a recovery supplement, you have to have like your recovery supplement and then bring another shaker and have your post-workout protein because the fucking the fruity flavors and the milky flavors don't mix. And you end up having to get down and like a liter or 1.2 liters of water. Bullshit. Whereas Core PWO is protein based, plus it's got all the recovery agents in there, plus it's got carbohydrates in there. It's it's. Ugh, I can't wait. It's great. Well, you and I first used it Excited, 18 shit. months ago. Yeah, well, the old, the version, old version. This is the new version, the new and improved version, even better than what we used. Mm. So I'm, I'm excited for the core PWA. Yep. Uh, nice big Team Joe Apparel Performance Booty Shorts. I think you missed something. Oh, MTS Way Apple Pie. Yes. Next shipment of MTS Way due in any day now. And that has uh, yet another new flavor of MTS Way, the Apple Pie, which I must say, shit to drink. Not a great drinking flavour, but an amazing sludge making flavour, mate. Yeah. Tastes like liquid apple pie. You heard it? <sighs> uh, Team J Apparel Performance American, Booty Shorts. Actually, American apple pie, for oh. what it's worth. Oh, Granny yeah. Smith, not Granny Smith then? Uh, well, I don't know what apples they're using it, mate, hmm. but it's American. Real apples? <laughs> no? Okay. <laughs> it's an American, it's American pie. Team J Apparel Performance Booty Shorts. Yep, launching next week for Team, the Pushy Cats. Team J Apparel 7 8 tight. Also launching next week for the Pushy Cats. BSN Turst Booster. Uh, look, you know what? <clears throat> Funny story. Okay, this is getting old now. No, oh. it's not getting old because I legit, just before we came in to shoot this episode, I got an email from my good man, uh, James Jarrett, a good friend at, uh, at BSN, and he said, I'm just sending you an update. Of all of the it's not funny anymore. That's no, no, no. I'm, uh, this is a true story. I'm not making this shit up for weekly work. And you haven't even heard this yet. He sent me an email and he said, here's just a list of the NPDs. You mm. know what NPD stands for? No. New product developments mm. coming in the next few months from BSN. Yeah. And he even wrote at the top of the email, because he watches weekly work. Yeah. He said, where's the BSN test booster? Question mark. Full list of NPDs. Mm. Wouldn't believe it. More flavours of Amino X, yep. <laughs> more proteins, no test booster. <sighs> One day. Owen Fatburner. All right, Phylex. This is me praying for yep. a BSN test booster and an optimum fat burner. I'm praying that we don't do this uh, ever again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Next topic of discussion, Need. Phylex. Yes. 
What can you tell the viewers, man? Uh, so pretty much four weeks from now. Uh, it is. Four, it's four weeks from this coming weekend. Mm. We'll be in Sydney for yes. Flylex or the Fitness Expo, whatever they're calling whatever it now. Whatever the fuck they call it now. Who knows? In uh, Darling it. Harbour. Yeah. So we'll be there three days with our 6x6 six six booth, so half apparel, half subs. Yeah, we're not bringing the Massive Joe's mega booth because it's too damn big. Mm. We'll be there for, yeah, three days. Mm. Uh, you, me, Swole, yeah. Dill. Boss Josh. Boss Josh. Asha. Asha. Uh, Dana. Whole crew. Shane. Yeah. Whole crew. Oh, most of it. Dilla, the cutting specialist. I said deal. Oh, you did, did you? So yeah, so we'll be there. Um, yeah, come visit us. The dates are, if I'm not mistaken, 28th, 29th, 30th of April. It's the last weekend in April. It starts on Friday, runs Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, we will be there with the Massive Joe's, half of the Massive Joe's mega boot. Mm-hmm. It's going to be a good fucking time, man. Yeah. Mm. Next topic of discussion, Neve. Ask Neve. 11 questions today, Big Knee Boss. All right, let's do them. First one, Reese Thomas asks Neve, how do yourself and Joe rate close grip bench as a triceps movement? It's something I've tried several times, but it never feels right. Keep killing it, guys. Stay massive. It's one of my top uh, lifts for A, tricep mass, yeah. and B, bench press strength. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of the times, it probably won't feel very comfortable because it's not, you, your wrist sort of, you have to get the wrist placement right. Yeah. Um, a lot of people I see go try and go too too close. too close, and their wrists sort of make this little fucking angle here. Yeah. All you need to make sure is obviously your bench. Okay, I'll try and do it this way. When your bench comes down, I mean a barbell bodybuilding bench like Joe will bring it up here. Mm. Powerlifting bench, I'll bring it down sort of more like forty five degrees. More towards the nipples. Um, close grip comes in closer, mm. but you, it's all your triceps keeping very close to your body. Yes. So I mean, if you're coming out like this, I mean that's not really how it's working. It's all about keeping it close and pressing through the triceps. Yeah. So I think it's great. Um, yeah. I always try and include either a weighted dips or a close grip bench press mm-hmm. because you can put a lot more weight through your triceps. Mm-hmm. And obviously doing rope pull downs or rope, sorry, rope um, press downs, yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever you want to call them, tri- yeah. triangle press down stuff. Yes. You can you cannot use a whole lot of weight and and to, to sacrifice form. Yeah, but but the uh, on the other hand as well, I'm I'm definitely not as big a fan of close grip bench as you are well, because you're hypertrophy. I, I, I prefer dips, yeah. um, you know, weighted dips or a dip machine. The thing with close grip bench, and I'm sure Reese experiences this, because you do also hit a lot of chest and a lot of delts doing it. And if your form is not perfect and your mind muscle connection is not perfect, you can actually end up stimulating a lot of delt and chest mm. and not a lot of triceps. But for someone like myself who does it on a push day, yeah, it's perfect. Yeah. But personal preference, Reese. I mean, you can build massive triceps and never do close grip bench. There's, yeah. there's other exercises, dips, body weight dips, um, you know, and then you push down type movements. Yeah. You can stimulate a lot of tricep growth and not have to do close grip bench. Another one that, um, sorry, that Joe and I like to do is is if you get your, your pin loaded, um, just vertical chest press. Yeah, yeah. Get a lat pull down bar, put yeah, it in yeah, between yeah. to get a closer yeah, grip. That's a good one. So that's also good. Yeah, and then you don't uh, have to stabilize. Yeah. Or variation. close grip bench on a Smith machine. And if you do it, also and if you do it on a slight incline, yeah, that takes a lot more um, triceps into it. Well, it puts a tricep in a stretch position mm. flexion is what it does. Luke Garbett. Hi guys, I've recently changed my workout style and have implemented a Dorian Yates style workout training heavy four days a week. What is your take on Dorian's training style? P.S. Thanks for all the supplement advice and it was great training with you last year at Emporian Gym Birmingham from Luke Garbett in the UK. First things first, Neve, Mm. before you answer the question, uh, just because Luke has mentioned he's from the UK, we did run it past Dilip about the, the idea for the map and we put the map up and we, we like highlight where the questions are coming from. So Dilip is on board, but we need you guys now when you're asking questions to tell us where you're from. So like Luke has told us he's from the UK, but Reese didn't tell us where he's from. Yeah. So we're, we're, the map is happening as of next episode, but just remember when you ask Neve to tell us where you're, where you're from. But also mm. Luke failed to mention where in the UK is from. Well, yeah, but you can generally, like you can just- UK is like, a big fucking place. Yeah, though. but not in the, if you put a map of the world here, it's not that big. So you can say he's from around that area. I think he needs to be in the advice. UK, but do you, it, if you're going to do it, do it right. Okay. Well, tell us, tell us exactly where you're from. Don't tell us the suburb. And then we can, then we the, can like drill it right down. Like Adelaide, Australia or- yeah. Birmingham, UK, or whatever. Yeah. Tell us where you're from. Yeah, absolutely. Now you can answer the question. Um, I mean, yeah, I think I think it's 
I, I wouldn't go. I don't. I mean, to be honest, I don't follow. I haven't really exactly looked at a lot of Dorian stuff. I know I used to train heavy and train hard. Yeah. Um, but I don't think you need to train like heavy, heavy mm. five, six reps on every single exercise. Mm-hmm. I think heavy weights have their place. Mm-hmm. But I think for an entire workout, five workouts a week or mm-hmm. four workouts a week in your case, 52 weeks a year, yeah. you're going to have injuries. You, you're going to have problems after a while. This is the problem with training heavy. Mm. Is, is uh, Look at Ronnie Coleman. Yeah. You know, is a, is a prime example. Chronic heavy training for years and years and years. Your, your body, your muscles can take it. It's all of the support structure underneath that that can't take it. Your, your joints, your ligaments, your tendons, your just, it fucks everything. I mean, up. even you look at like the When the 531 program, which yeah. John and I are a big fan yeah. of, yeah. every fourth week has a deload week. Correct. Um, so, I mean, yeah, it definitely, it, it works, but I'll, yeah, I wouldn't be doing it week. I, I'm not a fan of it. Mm. I'm just going to say, I'm not a fan of it. Eric Donarski, greetings from Michigan in the USA, big boys. Is that, now, is that good enough, Michigan? Yeah. Can we, yep. can we do that or do we need like an actual town? No, it's fine. Michigan's good. So Eric, thank you. The rest of you, take note. Uh, very long time viewer. Thanks for the hours of entertainment and advice. You're welcome, Eric. My question is this. I worked out legs in the morning for the first time ever yesterday and got destroyed. If you or Joe ever train hard in the morning, what do you do to prep meals, pre-workout, etc.? Stay massive, guys. Thanks. Um, I'm a big fan of training in the morning. Too. I fucking hate training. Joe in hates the it. Me and Swalbait love it. Hate it. It's, I used to hate it, but mm. I love it now. Mm. Um, obviously, you're probably not going to be quite as strong as if you've had like a full day's worth of meals and stuff. No chance. But the thing is, is I love it. I do not have a pre-workout meal, so I'll mm. train fasted. Mm-hmm. I even saw um, JB is the same. Mm-hmm. He'll train generally fasted, I believe. No, no, no. He has like a carb drink. Oh, does he? But yeah, he always has. I'll his, train completely his, um, fasted, and I'll, but I'll have a pre-workout, mm. um, and then I will drink sip on BCAAs while I'm training. Mm-hmm. Generally, if I'm training fasted mm-hmm. in my pre-workout, I'll chuck like a scoop of just unflavored BCAAs in there, mm-hmm. and possibly some glutamine in my pre-workout. Mm-hmm. Intra workout, have my beast of lays, and then post workout, obviously, you have to do a shake or your meal post workout. There you go. Zach Johnson wants to know, Neve and Joe, what is your stance on immunizations? Interesting question. Uh, there has been a lot of talk in the media with the possibility of banning unvaccinated kids in preschool and childcare. What are your thoughts regarding this? I know Joe is into his uh, naturopathy based on what I've seen of your videos. But you guys are also very science-based regarding studies. Some would say the studies regarding the science of immunizations are flawed at best. It's a touchy topic, but I'm interested to hear your position on it. Cheers, Zach. I mean, the day I have a kid... Will you immunize I will, yeah, I will. or non-immunize your kid? That's what Zach's asking. I will. So will I. I mean, I think I think that kind of gives our stance on it, doesn't it? I mean, it? I think we're becoming too much of a ba- like a band aid society, maybe band aid. Yeah. I don't know what the thing is, but mm. I mean, people are too worried about shit. Coke Zero giving you cancer. Mm. Don't spray yourself with spray deodorant. Mm. I don't know if you heard this one in school. Red Powerade gave you cancer. Mm. I mean, everything that everything these days gives you cancer. You're kind of contradicting yourself at the moment. Now you're not gonna lie. No, I'm just saying everything gives you cancer nowadays. They're saying yeah. don't vaccinate your kids because it will give you a different diseases. That's what that's what the, the is that what is. they're saying? Or yeah. are they saying don't vaccinate your kids because you're you're like implanting? No, like no, no, the, no. They're saying don't vaccinate your kids because wasn't it autism or something or, or something had been linked to vaccinating kids? Was it? That's the study that was come out. That's why he's asked because last week it was in the news. Ah, okay. So I don't watch the news. Yeah. So the last week it was in the news. It was something about vaccinating, yeah. like leading to blah blah blah. And okay. The people saying okay. no, I'm not going to yeah, vaccinate yeah. my kids because yeah. it's going to give them this. I don't remember yeah. exactly what it was. The, the, yeah, the, the, but the thing is though, that's what I'm saying, is everything you do nowadays mm. affects you negatively according to the media. Mm-hmm. Whereas, I mean, you and I, mm. who are like well, 30, around 30, pushing mm-hmm. 30, mm-hmm. Um, I mean, we're fine. And our mm. parents vaccinated us. Yeah. I mean, we've done all those kind of things. I mean, I think it's just yeah. becoming too... The, yeah, I, I, I agree with you. I think, you know, f- to completely disregard modern medicine uh, you know, in, in place of, uh, you know, natural therapies and shit like that. I mean, vaccination, vaccinations are there for a reason because they stop people getting diseases like fucking polio and leprosy and all that sort of Mm. bullshit that there weren't vaccinations for in the past. So, I mean, why would you not vaccinate? Yeah. Really is my kind of stance as well. Robert Ioannis wants to know, 
Hey, Neve, would a collagen supplement protein such as ATP's No Way have similar benefits to taking a collagen supplement? Great fucking question, Rob. I'm gonna let you answer this one because you've done a bit. We've been doing research. Uh, I'm, 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 you know what, man? Because <laughs> you're not on a raw of your so you've been doing, it, a, lot of, do you've been doing a lot of research, so. I've been researching, I, I haven't dropped my review for No Way yet. Um, I was actually going to shoot it last weekend and I started, started writing my notes for the raw review and I kind of took a step back and I was like, hold, well, let's just hold on a second here. Because on, on, on face value, it's beef protein. That's hydrolyzed collagen peptides from bovine collagen is beef protein. So my raw review was going to be a beef protein raw review. And then I started doing a little bit more research on this particular type of beef protein that ATP are using, which is called hydrolyzed collagen protein. And it's actually a trademarked uh, type of hydrolyzed collagen produced by a company called, um, I can't remember what they're called, Gel 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 Gelatis or some shit, some German company. And it's a particular like method of hydrolyzation to get a particular strand of hydrolyzed collagen peptides. So I've been doing a lot of research on, on that in particular to deliver that to you guys in the raw review. To answer your question, Rob, would a collagen protein have similar effects to taking a collagen supplement? No. Uh, two completely different things. You're not talking about the ATP's no way is not a collagen supplement. When you take a collagen supplement, you're putting collagen into your body. What no way is, is the, pep, the protein peptides that make up collagen that have been hydrolyzed, so removed from the rest of the collagen, um, and you're just getting them for protein. You're not getting them for, for collagen. Um, so the two completely different things. Let me, let me think of an analogy. Um, it would be like saying, uh, is taking whey protein the same thing as supplementing with colostrum? Would be a cool analogy to use. So they come from the same source, but they're two completely different things due to a manufacturing process mm -hmm. and due to the purpose of why you're taking them. You're not going to take ATPs no way uh, to help you know, do what a collagen supplement is designed to do, protect joints and, and ligaments and tendons and keep them healthy. You're going to take no way as a protein supplement. Mm -hmm. You do, you concur? Yep. You're an ATP sponsored athlete, you should know this shit. I haven't done the research though. Oh, okay. Cool. They haven't told you the research? I haven't asked the ATP, research. ATP, lift your game. Good, you happy with that one? Ben Prestwich wants to know, hey fellas, I have a question regarding the production of your apparel. I'm starting up my own clothing brand and was looking at outsourcing the production. Have you had any issues in the past with using international manufacturers? And if so, do you have any tips to avoid being ripped off with shit quality? Uh, cheers, guys, and stay massive. Um, I know we always get, um, what are they called? Samples, prototypes. Samples, prototypes yep. beforehand. Yeah, yeah 100%. So, I mean, yeah, obviously get, get a, a look at what they're doing and yeah, what, yeah. what they're get them to send you some shirts or yeah. at least blank t-shirts mm. or something like that. I mean, it does cost quite a bit of money to get a mold or whatever yep. they're called made up. Yes. So if you can just get blanks of what they're going, one going to eventually print your logo or design on, mm -hmm. um, that's probably the best way. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, there's a lot of companies in Australia where you can go and buy your own blank apparel and mm -hmm. then get a company to just put the logo on for you. Mm -hmm. So I mean, there's a good way that you can make sure that you definitely know what uh, quality you're going to be getting? Mm -hmm. um, do it yourself here in Australia. It's going to be more expensive, obviously, but yeah, that, mm. I mean that's that's the risk. Is you're just going to have to try and shop around and find out who people use. I guess. Yeah, the, the thing with it is, Ben, is you know, I I, I don't want to uh, disencourage you at all because if this is something that you want to do, then you know, go ahead and do it. Absolutely. But I think a lot of people think that like getting into the apparel game is a lot easier than it actually is. People are just like, you know, I'll grab, get some blank t-shirts, chuck a logo on it and sell them. Um, it, you know, it, it, I guess there are companies that do that, but there's a lot more to it than that. We've been doing TMJ Apparel now for, what, five, six years since, since we first started. And we've been through a lot of different manufacturers. Now we use, for different pieces of apparel, we'll use different manufacturers. So we have manufacturers in five different countries that make, for example, our t-shirts are made in a different country to where our cuff trackies are made. 
uh, which is once again different to where our basketball jerseys are made, which is different to where our sunglasses are made, which is different to where our hats are made. Um, so, you know, we, we, and the only way you can do that is through experience. So it's, it's a fine art, this, this whole apparel game. Luke Nelson wants to know, uh, any gains or cuts to be had by adding sauna or steam bath pre or post workout? Um, I've ne- oh, obviously I haven't done it because I haven't really needed to do it, but mm. um, I've heard infrared saunas have their place. Yeah, but I don't believe they they'd make heaps of difference. But I mean, they could do. Um, yeah, I'm not too sure. I know Asher Asher really likes the infrared sauna. Um, I've heard a lot of good re- yeah, results about infrared sauna. And yeah, I, I infrared haven't. Sauna. I, man, I haven't had a lot of personal experience with it. To be honest, I don't have fucking time to sit there in a sauna bath now, play with my dick. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Two kill birds. I like to kill two birds with one stone. You know, the one thing that I really hate about um, um, saunas is you can't use your phone in there. It's too fucking hot. Mm. Last time I took my phone into a sauna, it overheated. Very humid as well. A lot of water. Yeah. yeah, Very humid. Not good. Not good for electronics. Liz Emsley wants to know, hi, beautiful, swole men. Do you remember meeting Liz at the Arnold? I think she's hitting on you. Do you not? Do you remember meeting Liz at the Arnold? Of course I remember you meeting don't. Liz. You don't. Fuck. You don't. Fuck yeah. Neve, where do you see yourself and your training in the next two to five years? Kiss. Um, She's blowing you an ex. Mm? Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, now that I've leaned down, I'd like to be the same amount of leanness. Yes. Um, but obviously with more muscle mass mm-hmm. this time around. Yep, yep. Um, and I'd like to have a few more sort of powerlifting shows under my belt. Yes. So focusing on strength training, uh-huh. but keeping the aesthetics mm. side of it. Keeping the tan navy in the house, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Tyler Baxter wants to know, what's up fellas? Question regarding a lower back issue I've had for a long time now. When doing any bent over movement, even with my core switched on, my lower back continually fatigues out and becomes quite sore. I use a lifting belt to help support the issue, but even then it's still a problem when I start to add more weight. What are your thoughts on how I get the area stronger and be able to lift more weight comfortably in the bent over position without facing the fatigue and pain? Cheers guys, and stay massive. If, it, if it's a fatigue issue and like a muscle weakness issue, yeah. then you need to be working your lower back. Yep. So things like back hyperextensions, deadlifts, um, deadlifts good mornings, mm-hmm. things like that. Stiff legged deadlifts probably more so than just normal deadlifts. Yes. But anything that's working sort of that, that flexion of your back, mm-hmm. of the lower back, mm-hmm. is things that are going to help. Mm, absolutely. So, yeah, hyperextensions are, ama- are probably uh, going to k- absolutely isolate the lower back mm. without sort of bringing the hamstrings into it where a good morning or a stiff leg deadlift will. Mm-hmm. But probably my two would be good mornings or uh, back hyperextensions. Yeah, I'd agree. Chris Brown, Neve man, when MJ and Asher go honeymooning, you should do your own raw reviews and take over for a while. Food for thought. No. There you go. That's apparently not food for thought, Chris. Last question. <laughs> you shut him down. <laughs> Fucking hell. Mate, you've got your way of doing it. Oh, yeah, and it true. works. It works well. You guys give me shit about it, but it works. Barney on. At least I'm leaving someone else alone. With the final question. Yo, Neve, because I train in the morning, by the afternoon, I get a slump in energy and get sleepy. Reminds me of someone I know. Someone I sit next to. Uh, as I need to have full concentration and focus while in the ER, I've taken various sources of caffeine, such as coffee, amino energy, or a fat burner. However, given I am in a workplace, would Utopia Time Baby be more suitable? Or is this a Por que no los dos? Why not have both? Situation where I can stack a few things. Cheers as always, guys. Um, in terms of energy and focus and stuff, Utopia is number one. Yep. Uh, I mean, we'll breakout supplement of the year. The, th- the Australian supplement. The thing is, is though, is we will have a few different ones. So I mean, at the moment we've got Utopia, which mm. I mean, pr- we always have at least one during the day. Mm. I actually just finished one before we started shooting. Glasses, yeah. Um, but yeah, then obviously we'll we'll sop it up with like double tap at the moment, or yeah. what else we got in there. But what's one by reclaim? Uh, reclaim. Some reclaim in there. I mean, so yeah, so there's always, um, yeah. I mean, generally, probably for all of us, we probably do consume too much caffeine. Oh, wait, Master Joe's here. Wait, wait. Um, at least I've cut down on my amino energy. Mm. But the thing is, is yeah, we'll we'll, de- we'll generally have like at least two drinks throughout the day, mm. 
and they definitely are utopia and then yeah some kind of fat burner yeah you gotta get barney i can't believe barney i'm not has he has he has he not lost his utopia virginia i don't think so barney man dude shit get yourself some utopia i think you know what i think we send barney a tub well, there was some of the Arnold Classic, and Barney was too busy meeting with his fans to go and try some on tap. That's fucking believable. Barney, hit, 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 hit this No, you already mentioned me. I haven't written back to him. Oh, okay. Well, write back to him and tell him we'll send him a ton. Because I think he needs to, he needs to experience this shit. Oh, you know Could what I'm going to do? Could you imagine... I'm gonna the, the you know what I'm going to do? This is going to be Inception, because I'm actually going to message Barney right now. Yeah, you should. While you're on Weekly Word. And I'll just talk about while well, just to fill in the gaps. Hey, hey Barney, I'm shooting... Shouting. Could you imagine Shooting. the surgical prowess of Barney Ong, the steady hand of Barney Ong as he's doing like an open heart surgery or something? Yeah. With the uh, what if he has the caffeine jitters? Boost. No, no, he won't. With the turbo boost of Utopia's heart, baby. He could be the world's number one open heart surgeon. I said, hey, Barney, I'm shooting Weekly Word right now. Are we I live? Don't, I don't know what surgery Barney does. We're going to send you a tub of heart. Utopia. And Barney's just read it. Yeah. So this is like exception. I know. Fuck. He's gonna like watch this back and be like, yeah, that happens. You're right. Oh, he's writing back too. <laughs> he's probably in the middle of an open heart surgery. <laughs> What's he doing having his phone in surgery? Ha ha ha! Shit, son. Barney, don't swear. Barney. Fuck. It's weekly word. Come on, Barney. Two. Oh, sorry. He can say shit then. Unbelievable. He's Man, still he's typing. He's abusing it though. Anyway, it's, it's happening. Barney Ong. And Barney, actually, I want, I want, I want, I want photo proof oh, of, no. of Barney. What's he said? He just said, be right back in surgery. He can't talk right oh, now. Oh, well, there you go. Can, there you you go. Show, can you show the viewers? <laughs> just so you guys know we're not making this shit up. Get some zoom and focus action. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You got it, you got it, you got it. There you go, there you go. Is, you this, go. is it focused? Yeah, yeah, it's focusing, it's focusing. Mm, yeah, so you guys get the point. He's right there. Yeah. Anyway. I'm excited. But Barney, I want photo proof of you consuming the Utopia. Doesn't have to be in surgery because I think you might actually get in trouble for that. But just of you, you know, consuming you, and we'll put it on the next episode. <laughs> what? Yeah. I'm all for it. Fuck. Oh, we could be creating a monster here. Fuck, Barney. Me, boss. Let's get real. Do you have anything else you want to add? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Before I tell the viewers, don't hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're watching this on your mobile. Be sure to turn your post notifications on so you don't miss a beat when it comes to the Massive Joe's YouTube channel. Big Neve, if they like this video, what should they do? Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Like share, this video. Share. Throw down a comment. If you want to ask Neve a question, make sure you hashtag Ask Neve. And don't forget to tell us where you're coming from, guys, so we can do the world map. I'm all for it. And if you've got a question... I know I've said this before, yeah. but like sign up to a YouTube account mm. and put it in the comment section. Yeah. Because it kind of defeats the purpose you sending me an email with the subject Ask Neve. Yeah. So no, no, it has to go in the comments. It has Hashtag to go in the comments. Ask Neve and you have to tell us where you're from. Mm. Or else we're not going to ask any more questions. Yep. We're going to boycott them. At least you can put <laughs> Melbourne, Australia to Barney. <laughs> Share this video around. Spread the love of the Massive Joe's YouTube channel. Until next time, where are we coming to and from, Neve? MassiveJoes.com.